Hi everybody, welcome to these beer reviews. Um, I'm going to do a uh, San Miguel beer review. Uh, to be fair, I can't even believe I've never reviewed on camera this product. It's um, one I've had quite a lot. It's a product, it's a lager I seem to think you, you can find in Zubmark. It's sometimes quite reasonably priced as well. And it's a favourite, it's a favourite of um, lager drinkers. And I know I'm going to get a lot of comments from people that drink lager saying they don't like San Miguel. But that's fine but there's, it is a big favorite i think it's just because most people at some time have been to spain and when you're in spain this is absolutely everywhere so it's one of those beers isn't it? we drink when we, we drink when, it's another one of those uh, beers we drink when we get back so let's crack this open this is oh this is uh hurt my nail then this is uh five percent abv now i'm doing this because i picked up from lidl um they're San Martinez, uh, which is a clone of uh, San Miguel. So I was just keen to see how close of a clone it was. So I thought if I review this on camera, one, it refreshes my memory, because it's probably been a couple of months for being honest since I've had this, it refreshes my memory. <coughs> and it just means I can, I'll, I'll have another couple of beers and then I can uh, do the comparison. Uh, anything for a, a beer. Um, right, so that has poured a light, pale, clear golden colour. Let's get a uh, good, beautiful, really bright white head. It's a foamy white head though, doesn't look like it's going to stay around. Let's get an aroma, shall we? Smells like a lager. Smells like a traditional Euro lager. So it's got like malt aroma. Bit peppery on the back end. That's really all it's got. Well, let's taste show cheese, everybody. Tell you what, these drinks are going to go down well tonight. We've had a little bit of rain here, which has been quite nice. Not long, lasts about 15 minutes, if that. But it's beautiful, it's just cleared the air, it's made it a little bit cooler as well, which is really nice and welcoming. So, yeah, Sam Miguel. I think, like I say, a lot of people uh, probably know this. Um, sweet malt's coming through quite nice. Not getting any grayness. I've never really had a proper look, but I presume there's no. Gr um, it's just malt. Yeah, just bar yeah, just water. Uh, malt the barley, hops, yeast and water. Doesn't tell you about that though. So it doesn't say on there that it uses any sorts of uh, grains, rice, or anything like that, which I didn't think it would do. I would have it in it anyway. It's um, it's got a nice peppery bite in the back end and a little bit of gentle bitterness. Other than that, if we're being honest. There's not a lot to it. It is crisp, it's refreshing, and it does what laggers do. Um, it is that crisp, refreshing. It, it, uh, it's boiling outside, you want a, a nice cold lager. It works really well. You're a bit blustery out there. Um, for me, it's actually a nice lager. I don't mind this one. Like I say, it's one that I do often have in, and I, I don't mind drinking it. Personally, it's got enough flavour for me um, to make it feel like it's got some brewing process behind it, and it's got no nasty. Never seems to for me any tinniness, any naf nasty aftertaste. It's just a nice. For me, nice drinkable lager. 
I like it. So I have reviewed it on Untapped before. I scored it 7.5 out of 10. I don't see any reason to change it at all. That for me is a 7.5 seven out of 10 lager. I yeah, like it. Um, comment, like, subscribe, all that good stuff. Whatever you're drinking, please enjoy. Next up, it's this versus this. See you in a bit. Cheers, everybody.